um gestützt auf dem Oktoberfest ins Koma zu sein. Herzufahren und über Eltern kam dann eigentlich der Vorschlag, wir... In Animas Alters erforschen die Archäologen die Paracas-Kultur, die Vorgänger der Nazca. Schicht um Schicht tragen sie den Sand ab und legen ein ungewöhnlich detailliertes Wandrelief frei. Die reich verzierte Wand ist erstaunlich gut erhalten. Hier kommen Pädagogikstudenten. Dieses Wandbild ist einzigartig. Kein anderer Fries der Paracas-Kultur zeigt diese komplexen Figuren. In diesem Gebäude fanden Rituale und Zeremonien statt. Und dabei hat jeder diese... ...sehr Oculado genannt. Es hat große, runde Augen. Hier sieht man seine Augen, seinen Mund, seinen Körper und einen Kopfschmuck in Form einer Schlange. Diese Figur ist typisch für die Kunst der Paracas. Man findet sie auf Textilien, Keramik und auch als Geoglyph. Wir sehen Figuren aus verschiedenen Epochen, die zur gleichen Zeit in die Wand geritzt wurden. Das bringt uns zur Frage von Raum und Zeit. Wenn man gleichzeitig Figuren aus der Gegenwart und der Vergangenheit festhält, dann erzählt man damit eine Geschichte. Es ist eine Sprache. distance from the painting actually these neo impressionists only exhibition highlighted the relationship between signac pissarro and Seurat. This was Malais Stevens' final commission, his last great private building. This is significant because for the rest of his career, he would only really work on temporary pieces, structures for exhibitions, or on public commissions. So the culmination of his work on private houses is the Villa Cavois. Another important thing to realize is that this project came at a time when architects were writing their own manifestos. So at around this time, Le Corbusier was working on the Villa Savoie that most succinctly summed up his five points of the new architecture manifesto, his architectural theories and vision. And likewise for Malais Stevens, the Villa Cavoie was his physical embodiment of his architectural manifesto, which in my point of view shows the interest of the coming together of modern art and industry in this dialogue that was burgeoning in the late 20s and early 30s. So you could say that the Villa Cavoie is Malais Stevens' architectural manifesto. Manifesto. And we'll do the same down here. So we don't need to draw all the little details of the structure of our Eiffel Tower. We can just suggest all of the forms with little crosses. So in each little square, we'll draw a cross. And there you have your Eiffel Tower. We'll place our tower here on the ground. We'll curve it round like this, and then we'll add some plants and trees along the horizon. And we'll add a load of buildings, different shapes and sizes. And now what we'll do is we'll place a little dot in the middle that we'll use as a vanishing point so we can draw our buildings. So we have buildings like this here in the foreground. And we'll add some windows.
So I'll propose to you a variation of colors in the countryside on a tree during the four seasons. A bit in the style of Monet, for example, with his cathedral's variations or with his haystacks. That's more in keeping with the theme. So the colors and color nuances in the countryside are a typical Impressionist subject. With the Impressionists, it's all about the colors. The subject has almost no importance. It can be a haystack or something else. It doesn't matter. It's always about the color. So, about autumn, as we mentioned earlier, it's a range of warm colors. Even the sky has warm blues, the ground too. The winter is really, really cold. We have many blues, warm blues, cool blues in the sky. And the tree on top, obviously without leaves, with some dirty brown since everything is a little dull at the end. Even when there's a beautiful light in winter, it's a cold one. It's true that I direct animated movies. Drawings are always the first part of my work. So it's my first way to communicate. The video came after. I used to think through drawings. But step by step, drawings... as storyboards and research, research for characters, decorations, but who will be transformed as volumes in the video. So I work on model, on stop motion, on different techniques, different ways, which finally are drawings. I knew there was going to be a rainstorm, so I invited her out, but I didn't know how to shoot dance yet. <laughs> so I didn't realize how difficult it was for her to run, do verbringen, Schmuck und Bargeld zu verstecken. Noch nicht, glaube ich, oder? Nein. Nein. Aber ihr habt ja alle verschiedene Gurte. Den Leichnam angeordnet, bevor die Grabkammer verschlossen wird. Die Nazca-Kultur übernimmt diese Begräbnisrituale von den Paracas. Christoph Nullera ist Spezialist für frühgeschichtliche Textilien. Gemeinsam mit den peruanischen Forschern untersucht er die Sammlung von Paracas Totenbündeln im Archäologischen Nationalmuseum in Lima. Sie wollen eine neue Technologie ausprobieren und sich ein Totenbündel virtuell anschauen. Aus den Daten eines MRT-Scans entsteht ein interaktives Hologramm. Des Bündels. Leben tut mehr weh als der Schmerz. Viel über Judo 